Today we're going to discuss fellow creatures on the planet Earth. Animals are equals to us. And if we understand we have dogs and we have cats and they become part of our family, and I sit a few times every year with people crying, often in my arms because they've lost their dog they've had for 20 years or their cat they've had for 15 years, why can't you see that a bird, something like a duck, isn't equal? Why isn't a cow? Have you ever looked at the beautiful eyes of a cow and that unbelievable moo that they give? And mother, a mother cow with a baby calf, and we, we abuse them by taking their breast and pulling milk out that was meant for their children and robbing it? And worse than that, the father, the steer. Oh yes, somehow we've made him less than alive. And we slaughter, we have slaughtered houses. The highest suicide rates in all occupation are the women and men that work in these slaughterhouses. They can't live with themselves because they see every single day what you and I had chose not to see, the brutality of killing these animals. A long time ago, I was touched by the fact that I never ever thought once that I was consuming animals. I never put one and one together. Mom would come home and have the red flesh of a steak or the muscles of a chicken, or the carcass of a fish, and we thought they were food. Being brought up, that's how I and most others, including many of you, consider these unfortunate, we call diet. When you look back at taking the poor animal that has been slaughtered, that is extremely damaging to the body of that animal. Adrenaline pumps through. Now adrenaline is from fear, it's fight and flight. We all have it like every other creature has it. And somehow that gets into our bodies, into our cells, and gives a very defined message and reduces your ability to have consciousness. So it's not just about harming animals, it's about harming ourselves from harming animals. One of the things that really stunned me is even something like a fish has a beautiful social order, a level of intelligence that we don't even equal in some ways, Com communications that we haven't attained as human beings. But you and I think, gee, it's just a lowly fish or a chicken or the egg of a chicken. And the truth of the matter is, this is not just a moral issue. It's a spiritual issue. It's a deep, deep issue that I petition each and every one of you to sit and consider. So I changed my life, not because I changed my diet, but I stopped murdering animals to so-called nourish my body. Substance, that wasn't substance. That was murdering myself. As we know today from volumes of science, People who consume animals and secretions from their bodies, milk and all the different very dairy foods we make from milk, have higher levels of every disease known to man and age prematurely. What it does to the planet Earth, I won't even address in this conversation, but that alone is why 50% of the problems we're having on the planet today, including deforestation, desertification, and greenhouse gases are occurring because we choose to murder animals. Today there's so much awareness, so much consciousness around the world. We recognize centurion beings. This is you and I. We have a nervous system, we have feelings. And guess what? Every one of these creatures we choose to put on our plate are centurion beings. Why would we do something to somebody that literally is in the same line of humanity that we are? I remember as a young man, I gathered my children around the television and we watched the movie Babe. 
Babe was a beautifully delightful, entertaining film about the personality of a pig. Babe was a terrific expose on the humanity of these creatures. Okaja today from South Korea is something that you can watch as we speak on Netflix. And I ask you to do that. Sit with your friends and your family and do this. Because this talks about a culture and a society in the near future that will develop the most tasty and most abundantly delicious of all meat that's available. And look at the side effects of doing that. You're a creature. Fellow creatures should be respected. We talk about equality for humans, but how about equality for fellow creatures? They may not be the same Homo sapiens species we are, but guess what? They're the same humanity that we are. Your health is at stake. Your longevity is at stake. And more important, your quality of life is at stake. Men are so impotent today and so feminized today. At the core, their masculinity has been flushed down the toilet. They kill animals and eat animals looking as if they have machivo. This is sissy wussy nonsense. As a matter of fact, when you consume these animals, you become more feminine. The hormones they pump into these animals so they weigh more pounds so you'll spend more money will feminize you. Real men don't eat meat. Real men don't beat up ducks and chicken and steak and all of these creatures that, by the way, your pet you would never do that with, but somehow you don't equate them to your pet. But it's time that you wake up and change. Every one of us have an opportunity to start over again to renew our lives, to capture the essence of our existence and have gratitude for why we're on this planet Earth. And let's get our health back, our consciousness back, and our ability to be as human as we possibly can be. Because being human is not a bad thing. It's the right thing when you do it right. Be well till next time.